Hi guys, I'm Ashley and this is Garden Buzz. Today I'm going to work on my front porch. We're going to go from this to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a pumpkin arch. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it looked beautiful. So I bought a bunch of these foam pumpkins and then I bought some PVC pipe, a 10 foot, three 10 foot pieces, and then they're about a half inch in diameter. So we're gonna use those to put the pumpkins on. I'm gonna drill holes at the top and the bottom. I bought a big long drill bit. So we're gonna drill holes and then we're gonna stick them on the PVC pipe. We'll see how it works. I don't really know what I'm gonna expect at the end, but we're gonna try it out and hopefully we'll be successful. So let's get started. So this is what I want to build the arch around. And at first I was thinking that I would do it on the outside of the timbers, but because of weather and snow, that might ruin the pumpkins faster. So what I think I'm gonna do is I bought these beautiful pots. So I think I'm gonna put them on the inside of each post. And then I'll put this PVC pipe inside the pots and put the pumpkins up it on the inside of the pole all the way up and around. And we'll see how that works. Hopefully it works out good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna measure this PVC pipe because you can see it is way too long. It goes all the way up to the rooftop. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna take it in the garage and cut it and get started on drilling holes in these pumpkins. All right, so I measured it and I marked it on the PVC pipe. So now I'm gonna cut it with this DeWalt miter saw. So I know there's a light on here. I'm gonna turn the light on. And then of course, safety first. So I got my safety goggles here, looking nice. And my ear protection. So then we're gonna start getting some cuts done here. Here we go. All right, we have the right side of the arch done and we're gonna start with the right side of the top. And I measured about 32 and a half. I'm gonna do 33 and a half inches. I'd rather be too long than too short so I don't have to buy another piece of PVC pipe. So we're gonna measure this and mark it. Let's find a pencil. I'm just gonna use this pen. Okay. Okay, 33 and a half right here. There we go. Got my protection gear on and we are ready. All right. And I need two of those, one for the right side and one for the left side. Oh, where'd my pen, or my pen go? There it is. Okay, 33 and a half. Right there. Let's see, does that look about right? Yep. So I tried to test pumpkin out last night. So let me show you what happened. Styrofoam was everywhere. So I'm going to try to eliminate the big mess I made last night by doing it in a lined garbage can, but we'll see how that works out. So let's take a look at what happened last night. So this is the pumpkin that I did last night and you can see there's styrofoam all over it. So 
the styrofoam flew everywhere when I used the drill bit. Um, but that's the hole right there. Some of the orange did come off of it, so I'll probably make that a hidden spot either with some floral accents or um, hopefully the pumpkin that sits on top of it will hide it. We shall see. And then that's the hole in the bottom right there. So, but the drill bit I used last night wasn't long enough, so I had to start at one end and then take it to the other end and hope that I met in the middle, which I did, but it was a little bit difficult and I don't want 27 or so pumpkins to take that long. So I bought this long drill bit here. It's an 18 inch drill bit, half of an inch in diameter. So we'll see how that works. And you can see my drill right here. It's covered in styrofoam. So hopefully if I do it in this garbage can here and then I just put an old uh, hanging basket pot in the bottom um, to set the pumpkin on, hopefully that will leave some of the mess. So let's get drilling some of these pumpkins, see how it works. but we got them all cut and ready to go. So I did this first side right here and I put them in this beautiful, I think it's made of terracotta, I'm not sure, but this beautiful pot right here that I got at at home. It was around $40, but look at the pretty design in it. And I love that they wrap the handles with rope looks really nice and then I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top it hasn't been filled yet all the way to the top I don't know if you can see inside there but there's soil in there um, I ran out of soil so my son's going to the backyard to get some compost to finish filling it up but this is my suggestion so this worked the foam pumpkins worked but I guarantee it was twice as hard with the foam pumpkins as it would have been with the carvable pumpkins. So if you can find carvable pumpkins, I would do the carvable pumpkins. That way also you could multi-purpose. You could use them for fall or Thanksgiving decorations and you could use them for Halloween and carve jack-o'-lanterns and just do jack-o'-lanterns on one side and regular pumpkins on the other side and just turn them around for each holiday or season. Um, but so far it's worked good. I have tied them up with some string and electrical tape. You can see right there. I'm going to replace that with some heavy duty fishing line. But right now it was getting late so this is actually the next day. But it was getting late so I just hurried and tied them up with something so it wouldn't fall down. Uh, with these terracotta pots, I filled the bottom of them. I haven't done this one yet, but I'll fill the bottom of it with rocks. That way I don't need as much soil. And then I'll fill the rest of it up with soil. 
Um, I'm going to show you how to put this one together. So here is the long part. There's nine pumpkins on that. And then here's the short part that goes on the top of the timbers, just three pumpkins. So 24 altogether. I actually bought 27 of them. So I was just about right. Initially, I was going to just go straight across with the pumpkins, but that piece on the timbers there makes it hard to do that. So I decided just to stop right there and tie it up. So that's why I bought 27, but now I have some extras and I can do some other fun things with those ones. All right, so let me show you how I put this together. So I've got the pumpkin arch secured to the timbers with fishing line. So and you can't see it unless you're really close up to it. Plus I'm going to put some banners here so it will cover that over. The only one it really won't cover over is at the top of the arch there. That one right there. But as you can see, there is space between the pumpkins where you can see the PVC pipe. So we're gonna fill that space in with some fall leaves and other floral decor that I got from Hobby Lobby here. So everything there fall related was 80% off. So we got some beautiful fall leaves. I've got a pretty wreath in here too, we'll put on the front door. But let's get that done and then the arch will be completed.
right, well, I'm finally finished, so there's nothing like being outside until dark, but let's take a tour. So this is the pumpkin arch. I love it. It turned out so good. And then I have these two cute flags that I hang up every year. I got those from Amazon. They say happy fall and give thanks. Let's take a closer look at this pumpkin arch here. Ooh, so pretty. I am very happy with it. Turned out awesome. And then on the front porch here, I organized my pumpkins a little bit better. I pulled some that were farther away from the house closer. If they stay warm, I think they might stay better longer. And then I got this beautiful wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby on this cute little hanger. I got the hanger at, at home. Love it. Looking absolutely adorable. And a rug that says grateful and thankful. So cute. And my pumpkins looking great. I love those white pumpkins. Polar bear pumpkins, guys. I'd grow them in your garden. And then this guy right here. You can't see him. It's kind of dark. But that is my fiber optic grass and it is not supposed to be alive still. I think that it's hardy in like it was either zone 7 or 8 to 10 so I don't know what it's still doing alive but I'm not going to complain. And then I've got this cute little sign that I made. It has a little Bible verse on it from Psalms. And most of my fall plantings are still looking good. And then we've got some decor over here on the chairs. Cute little pillow that says home. And then I made these pumpkins with my vinyl maker. My silhouette vinyl maker. Oh, not a vial. Vinyl maker. And then I've got another one over here that says love. And I put another one on the ground. It didn't fit on the chair. This says, welcome to our pumpkin patch. Reorganize the pumpkins, put some lanterns in there, put some fall leaves on the ladder. Overall, I think it looks great. The only thing I think I might add are some wreaths on the windows here. I think that would look really pretty. Add a little interest to the top of the house there. But I think it looks beautiful. I'm very, very happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful evening and happy Thanksgiving. I know the gardening season is just about over, but anything you find to do, happy gardening and we'll see you next time. Thank you.